Okay, so I didn't know this at the time of it happening. This was about a month or two ago. And um so I got a strike on my channel. And something that I didn't know until Cory X Kenshin just uploaded his video about YouTube randomly pulling out a strike on him. Uh that I could get like terminated on YouTube. So I'm on YouTube. I've been on YouTube for like barely any time at all. I'm only at what 20 22 subscribers, I don't even know. And they're copyright striking my videos. Because something I think is, is that they're afraid. Because what they see in me is potential. Uh, like, they see the equipment. They see the stuff that I've done for YouTube. They see potential in me. And they can see that sooner or later, they're going to have to start paying me for my work that I'm putting into YouTube right now. Also, this is new. Uh, I got it a while ago, but like two days ago. Uh, no. On like Saturday. But um, that's not the point. The point is, I have a strike on my channel. And YouTube didn't come out and tell me anything about this strike. They didn't come out and say, hey, please like cut out this part of your video or whatever. Or like, please take out the video. The video in, like the video I'm talking about right now is a video where I was uploading to, I was reacting to three scary videos, and one of them was a video called The Jester, or Jester, or whatever it was called, and uh, he took, like, a card, and he sliced his arm with the card for a magic trick, or whatever, I don't, I barely even remember, uh, and then that video, almost about a day after I uploaded, uploaded it, uh, got taken down, and they said that, it like induced self-harm and now I can see why they were concerned about that but they didn't tell me anything about like cutting that part of the video out because if you guys didn't know in YouTube there is a way that you can cut out parts of videos there and there's a built-in editor to cut out parts of your video like if you're uploading a video and you go to like let's say right now I'm going to like uh, my YouTube studio and if you click here let me go and show you right now how you can do that so right here alright guys right here if it will ever load but guys like This is a video that wouldn't upload for some reason. Alright, but if we go down to some random video, like, let's say right here. If you click on the video and go down to where it says editor right here, you can click trim and you can move parts of the video. So then it will trim. Like, it, it will trim if you just. Go to the YouTube editor and tri trim it. So, YouTube. Something I don't understand is... That clip of the video... Is not saying, hey, go slice your arm open. Like, I can see where their concern is coming from, alright? I can see where it's coming from. The thing is... You didn't warn me about that. You weren't telling me, hey, can you please go cut this part out of your video? And now I get it. All right. I get the concern. All right. But the thing, the thing that angers me about this is that my channel is early. I can see the potential in my channel. YouTube can see the potential in my channel. People that watch me can see the potential in my channel. And YouTube just came out and straight up deleted my video. And gave me a strike on my channel. So now, since I didn't know that, and yes, I reached out to them saying, hey, can, uh, like, 
you take away my strike. The video is gone. It's no one can see it now. Can you take away my strike, please? Because I don't think I did anything wrong. Because I was reacting to a video that many people on YouTube have reacted to before, and none of their videos are taken down. Why did mine? Like that's that's one of the things, and that's another thing I'm angry about. Like I looked it up. I looked at it. Because I was afraid that the video might give me a strike, but at the same time, I didn't think much about strikes. I just knew that they were a thing on YouTube. So I looked at it, and so many people have reacted to Jester. So many people have reacted to the same video I did. And their video, their video YouTube, didn't get taken down. But mine did, because they see the potential. Now, I'm not sure if this is the app, like, this is the real reason why they took down the video, but it is definitely, like, the the highest, uh, like, the most likely on why they took down the video. Now, YouTube, I would just like to say, even though you're not gonna see this video, because I'm not popular, I would like to say, be, like, tell people what they did wrong so then either they could go fix that change that or delete the video altogether if it was the entire video that made them upset if it was the entire video that made them upset then send me an email tell me to delete the video and if i don't delete it then give me a strike then i deserve it if the whole entire video is uh bad and i can see that it's bad and i don't delete it or it's not bad but I don't delete it because I don't think it's bad, then give me a strike then, but I will listen the next time. Just at least like make it a thing to where you will get like, a, let's say like a week or two warning in advance to delete your video. That is, I guess, I don't know, like causing the community, uh, the YouTube community like to do self-harm? I don't even know. I don't know. YouTube needs to work on that because... Whenever... Like... You don't know... That there's something wrong with that video... Until you get a strike on your channel... Telling you... That there was something wrong with that video. They don't tell you... That there was something wrong with that video you just made. They don't give you a chance to go back and fix that because they expect you to already know. Some people don't know that that's going to cause other people to be like, hey, that's a good idea. How about I slice my arm open with a card? Like, sure, they may not do it with the card. They could be doing with it like something else. But the fact that they didn't even warn me that it was coming is the thing that's making me so mad about it. Like, Tell me that this is about to give me a chance to go and fix the mistake that I made. It's happened to so many people. And the thing is, there are channels that are small, like me, and I've gotten terminated. And no one got the chance to know about their channel. And you see, the thing is... And this is the thing that scares me the most because I know it's true. If I get terminated, then boom. There goes all my motivation to do YouTube. And I'm going to be honest right here. The only th reason I wanted a computer wasn't just to play games with my friends. Yeah, that was a factor of it. But it was for YouTube. So if YouTube takes away... What this entire desk, my, what my entire desk is right now. If they take away my channel, I will not be motivated to do YouTube videos anymore. Because at that point, if I get my channel taken down so early on into YouTube, then I will... Never upload again until I think, like, YouTube has gotten better. Because YouTube didn't used to be like this. YouTube, they, like, they didn't give you a chance, but they also weren't so harsh about it. 
Like, they didn't come out and tell you, but they also weren't so harsh. But they keep on putting out these updates that nobody, like, nobody asked for, nobody wanted, and everyone hates it. It wasn't a needed update. But they still go through with it. Because they want it to be harder. YouTube wants it to be harder for small creators like me. And my cousin. And a whole bunch of other people. They want those people to not get popular so then they don't have to pay them more money. YouTube needs to see this video. And everyone else is just like it because it brings up some great points and maybe just maybe it will help them like figure it out they will help them be like oh we should like uh, send them an email with like a week advance of like hey delete this video please right now like YouTube give us a chance give us a chance to delete our video Give us a chance to do something about what we did. Because the thing is, we don't know we made a mistake until it's too late. We don't know that we made a mistake until it's already too late. So please, YouTube, please. Give us a chance to delete our video. Give us a chance to cut out that part of our video. Give us a chance, YouTube. Because without those chances, we can't do anything. Without those chances, there is nothing we can do to stop that from happening. Because you don't want to give us a chance. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I have a strike on my channel because YouTube didn't want me to have any say in it. They didn't want me to delete it because if they gave me a chance, then that means that's more of a chance for them to allow me to get grow bigger on YouTube. If I get a strike for this video. then I will be afraid to upload a video because you don't know whenever you're going to get another strike. Two more strikes from me and it's over. Then I won't be able to upload any more videos on YouTube. Two more strikes from me. And that's the end. Then there is no more clashing. Then there will be no more of my content. Then everything that I've paid for for this entire channel, which let me tell you right now, is a lot of money I have paid for. It will be gone. Fix your system, YouTube. Tell us what we did wrong so we can change it. That's all I'm going to say. Give us chances. Thank you for watching this video.